Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Michael Perez. I am the Ibukuti Middle School Band and Choir Director. Uh, it is my distinct honor to welcome you to the 2022 Pacific East Honor Music Festival. <laughs> this concert signifies the return to the long-awaited face-to-face rehearsals and performances for Far East. An experience we have not had in about three years. So we're thrilled to be back on stage performing for you tonight. Tonight's performances will feature band, choral, and string students from E.J. King Middle High School, Niall C. Kinnick High School, and M.C. Perry High here in Yurkuni. The 73 student musicians on stage this evening have had only the past two days to get their music performance ready for this evening. Learning from new directors, Playing and singing with new musicians and hours of rehearsal make for an exhausting experience, yet it's rewarding and worth it, as the experience, memories, and friends they make will last beyond. Plus, who doesn't love a 13-hour bus ride and a dozen powdered donuts for breakfast? <laughs> All right, so I'd like to take this opportunity to recognize some of our DOD leadership that have made this concert event possible. I'd like to start by thanking and recognizing Lois Rapp, the Director of Student Excellence, Dr. Judy Allen, <laughs> Superintendent, Community Superintendent Donald Williams, <laughs> Community Superintendent Dr. Ronald Knight, <laughs> Pacific Fine Arts ISS Nathan McCoy, <laughs> he's very important to us. Uh, Pacific Far East Student Activities Coordinator D'Angelo Gillani, and last, but most definitely not least, the 2022 Pac East Honor Music Festival event coordinator and director, Ms. Mary Kane. <laughs> At this time, I would like to welcome and recognize the principal of MC Perry High School, Ms. Renee Kopp. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to MC Perry High School. It is so great to see all of you here. I think the term that we heard ad nauseum for so long was new normal, right? Everyone knows that, oh, we have to usher into new normals. It is so nice to return to an old normal and see all of you here for this wonderful event. So I would like, without further ado, to welcome our biggest supporter, most amazing human being, uh, Colonel Lewis, MCAS Cooney Commanding Officer, to give a welcome. Well, I don't think I've ever been called an amazing human being in my life. <laughs> but thanks everybody for being here. It's, it's wonderful to see everybody's face here tonight. Um, a round of applause for our musicians. <laughs> and it's, as Mr. Perez said, you know, it's the first time we've done this in three years. As a parent, we have all three kids are involved in the arts. It's great to see all the parents here and the, all the support and the huge support that we got from Dodea. Thank you so much. And ma'am, thank you for all of your hard work for putting this event together for, for tonight. So one more uh, round of applause for this very <laughs> thing. As a parent, I'm very excited to see musicians who get off the stage. Um, I'm excited to see all the, all the different musicians in the choir. I heard nothing but great things about it. 
but I would be remiss if I wasn't to, to mention to everybody, I'm the most excited to see one particular saxophone player, but I won't mention his name, Logan Lewis, because it would embarrass him. So, so have a great night, everybody, and let's enjoy the show. Thank you. Think. I think we're ready. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome to the stage the Pack East Honor Music Festival Choir. <laughs> Today, tonight, they will be performing several pieces of music. They'll first be performing a piece called Ave Maria by an Italian 16th century composer, Caccini. The next is a piece by a composer you may have heard of, Mozart, Ave Verum Corpus, followed by an American folk song, Wayfaring Stranger. They'll sing a song called Natural, which is an Imagine Dragons team rearranged. And finally, they'll end with an American jazz standard, What a Wonderful World, made famous by the legendary Louis Armstrong. Tonight they'll be uh, accompanied by Ms. Melanie He on piano, and they will have several soloists throughout the evening. Instrumentalist soloist for flute is Callie Sargent. <laughs> for Waker and Strange, you'll hear a violin solo from Joshua Yang. <laughs> and on Natural, you'll hear several vocal soloists. Ayana Garcia, <laughs> Alyssa Garcia, no relation, <laughs> Christian Dulce, <laughs> Sophia S, <laughs> and Lauren Ewing. as well as Jocelyn Hopkins. All right, so please welcome to the stage their conductor, Ms. Insun Han.
Father. Never one of them is giving up or giving in. Tell me this house is mine. Nothing ever comes without a consequence. God's tell me the stars are mine. Let us have the name and will it save you from the sin and will it? Is this house of mine? It stands strong. That's what the price you pay. Leave behind the heart and cast away. Just in front of the heart of the day. Oh, oh, oh. 
was amazing. Can you give him one more round of applause? That was Ladies and gentlemen, we have a brief intermission while we straight the stage and set it for the string ensemble. So thank you. Oh, 
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We're about to begin.
Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Pack East Honor String Ensemble. <laughs> Tonight they'll be performing several pieces. The first piece they'll be performing is a tune called Fan Dance, which celebrates and highlights the bright kimonos and graceful dancing of our Japanese neighbors. Secondly, they'll be performing a song called Arioso by George Frederick Handel. Third, they'll be performing an American traditional folk song called Shenandoah. They'll also be performing Mozart's Serenade and Dance with two recognizable melodies. And lastly, they'll perform Vivaldi's first movement of the Four Seasons Spring. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome to the stage Mary King and also recognize Mr. Jonathan Parker. It's Mary King. Thank you. 
After the band has performed, we will have closing comments from Mr. Donald Willie Williams.
portrays what it's like to be on the stormy seas. Third, they'll be performing a piece called Pandora by Randall Standridge, marching song by Holst, and finally the New World Symphony by Dvorak. So please, ladies and gentlemen, under the direction of Jonathan Parker and Mr. Paul Lewis, please welcome to the stage at this time, Mr. Paul Lewis.
just as much fun as I did, because it was really fun. Um, here to give some closing remarks is our community superintendent, Mr. Donald Willie Williams. Please welcome to the stage for today. Well, good evening. Uh, on behalf of Dr. Allen, our superintendent of schools for the New Year Pacific East District, uh, we want to say thanks. Thanks for blessing us uh, with very beautiful music tonight. You know, if you go out and have a conversation with people, there are typically two things that people have in common that they will talk about. Uh, one is education, because most people went to school. And two is music, because most people like some kind of music, whether it's jazz or rock and roll or rap, whatever your flavor is, most people enjoy some type of music. And you guys took two of the most common things that people have in common tonight and put them together to give us a beautiful showing, and for that we're very grateful. Let's give them one more round of applause. I, I was absolutely humbled by your music tonight. I'm a musician myself. I, uh, I played uh, piano from the time I was a kid. I played piano on scholarship in college. I played uh, baritone saxophone in high school. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, and, uh, Singing in choirs all my life, university choirs. The choir tonight arrived at the university choir last evening. You guys were just phenomenal. <laughs> you know, if you think about the world today, I, I think that uh, we can all agree it's a pretty bleak place right now. With COVID going on, the things that are going on in Russia, there's all this stuff going on around us. Uh, there was this famous, uh, I guess, uh, scientists at one point they did an experiment with rats and they would take these rats and they would drop them in a bucket of water and they would see how long they could survive before they were about to drown and right as they were about to drown they would pull the rats out of the water and set them to the side and then they would repeat this and at first they would find that they would drop the rats in the water for about 15 minutes and that was about as long as the rats could go uh, but they found that providing the hope of plucking them out of the water right before death allowed them to learn to extend the amount of time that they could live. And what they actually found is that by plucking them out and repeating this over and over, they could get rats out to two and a half days of treading water before they would almost drown. And, um, you know, I, the, the parallel thinking in this story is the idea of hope, right? The idea of hope. Um, and what I say tonight is that your music uh, provided us the glimmer that there is still beautiful hope in this world. Uh, and I want to thank you for that. You guys, congratulations on the Can I have the directors please on stage? Please welcome to the stage one more time Mr. Paul Lewis, Insun Han, Mr. Jonathan Parker.
folks have put a lot of time and effort into making this experience for your students, your children, and the children from our other visiting schools possible. But I do want to give special recognition to Miss Mary King, who was the host for this uh, event and hosted. Please give her a This is also the first year of this high school. Thank you. 